All right, guys, so I am downstairs right now. I am working on my office. It is an absolute disaster in here right now. But I am over here working on my Scream ghost face wall. As you can see right here, I'm getting started. Actually, I'm a little past getting started here. Um, I chose the three Scream movies, one, two, and three, because those are the ones that I like the best and that I am most partial to. I got 20 by 30 posters, poster frames, and then I built this shelf right here, painted it black with black oil paint, so my whole office smells like oil paint right now. Here's a little better picture of what's going on over here. Um, yeah, so we have Scream 1, 2, and 3 posters up there, the black shelf, and then I attached a dowel on top of there for each of those uh, foam heads. And then each of those will have a Scream mask on it. Now I put the black duct tape over their eyes because I didn't want them to see what I was doing. No, seriously. <laughs> because otherwise the white shows through the eyes of the masks. So basically I'm having to go back through and do this to all of them. Just put another strip of black tape on the top and the bottom of what I already have on there. Because that's basically the difference of them looking really cheesy and looking really cool. When you look into Ghostface eyes, you want to just see plain black in there. You don't want to see white. You don't want to see that there's a piece of tape in there. You can also see that I have been playing with kind of turning these four heads this way a little bit, these four heads this way, and then the one in the middle looking straight ahead. I think that's probably going to be the best way to do it. And if you watched my unboxing video the other day, you know that I bought a 25th anniversary ghost face mask, and that's the one that's going to be going right in the middle up there. So give me just a few minutes here. I'm going to finish putting more tape on the front of those and uh, get the masks up there, and then I will show you guys how it looks. All right, so there it is so far. I think it looks pretty cool. I had one other ghost face mask that is... Uh, the one over there on the chair. And that's a glow-in-the-dark mask, but I didn't think it would look right up here um, to have a fourth white mask. So I had two of the chrome ones. I thought that would look really cool right there with the chrome ones, one at each side of the 25th anniversary mask. And uh, I think that looks pretty dang cool. So this is how it looks when you're entering my office here. And there's the whole setup on the wall. That's pretty cool. I think I like that pretty much. Um, I got to figure out something, though, with the light to put a little bit more light on the faces. So what I think I might do is we got the ceiling light up here. And what I did in the, uh, the video room here, um, I made these little things right here and stuck them up there and attached them. And it redirected the light directly over onto these videos lit those up really good so i think that i will do the same with that light right there because that is like dead smack in the middle of those masks and if i just make one of those it will redirect that light right on their faces now as for these blank spaces between the movie posters i'm definitely going to do something there um, i have an idea i do have this fake buck 120 and I'm going to use that up there. I think I'm going to get a voice changer also to put up there. And, um, well, just hang out a minute. I'm going to do it, and then I'll come back and I'll show you. Okay, so I'm almost done with this part. Let me show you what I've done here. So I've been out here watching Scream 4, which, surprisingly, I like a lot more than I did the first couple times I saw it. But I made these two panels. And what I did was basically take some newspaper and I glued it onto cardboard with this stuff called Mod Podge. And then I printed out the articles that we've seen in the movies. And I glued those on there as well. And these will go between those posters. Then I can take the props like the knife and just whatever else I find. And I can attach them on like that. Okay, next day I have ordered a voice changer. Um, couldn't get the white one, so I had to get the black one. The white one is what they had in the original movie. Um, you can see Billy Loomis using it in those final scenes. I did get on eBay. I went to a store called, uh, 
Uncle Tom's Treasures or something like that. I can't remember. I'll put the link below if you guys want to check that out. But I was searching for a 90s cell phone um, nearest first, and so I found this old Motorola. It looks sort of like Billy's cell phone that falls on the floor in the first movie when he crawls in uh, Sydney's window right after the killer chases her, <laughs> if I can talk. And I've been out here painting some blood splatter on these things. I took the knife and I did like, you know, the swipe, how he cleans off the knife and put a little bit of blood on the handle there, the phone. Then I splattered blood across these panels and did a little bit of like hand wiping and stuff like that. So I think it's coming along really awesome. I tried not to completely overdo it. I put a little splatter on the front of the phone. Otherwise I had blood or red paint on my hand and I just held the phone the way that you would hold a phone um, as if the killer had a bloody hand when he was holding it. Same thing with the knife here. You can see on the handle how I didn't just totally overdo it, but it is as if there would have been blood on the hand holding the knife. But these are about dry now, so let's go ahead in. I'm gonna hang them on the wall, get these ready, and I'll show you guys how they look. Okay, I've got as much done as I am doing right now. I got a couple other things coming in the mail, but here's how it looks so far. We got Scream 3 on the TV over here. We have the bubbles of death going from Spirit Halloween. I got my little office area set up here with my desk, and here is the Scream wall so far. Check out how cool those panels look. I did what I was talking about with the light up here. I put this thing so that it would uh, send all the light towards the masks. It's still kind of dark over there, but that's okay. If I turn the other lights on, it gets a little bit brighter, but look how cool that looks. We've got nine masks up there. We've got Scream 1, 2, and 3 posters there. Like I said, the panels look totally awesome. Let me know what you guys think about those. We've got the two popcorn buckets from uh, Cinemark there. We got our phone prop here. And there is the first panel. I think that turned out so awesome. Here's the second panel. And then there's our knife. And I ordered Billy's gun from the final scenes of uh, Scream 1 as well as the voice changer. So we have those two props coming as well. And when they get here, I'll go ahead and put those up too. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I gotta paint that dark spot on the ceiling there. <laughs> that drives me absolutely crazy. But that is so very cool right there.